guys, Lady Lisa here, back with another video. <laughs> I believe I can Thanks. Away Interrupt me, Natsai, why don't you? <laughs> can I talk now? Okay. Well, last video, guys, um, I almost died to a dragon. <laughs> Which is kind of hilarious, not gonna lie. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Still got a bit of a bad chest, but hey. Anyways, let's continue on our journey and see what we have to do. <coughs> uh, the headmistress speaks, okay. Oh. Well, I could do that one, but I've got all of these to do. <laughs> uh, we'll do it. Let's just do it. Let's go to the map chamber. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, right, let's go. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I am trying to take a drink to help with my um, throat. Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. We'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Oh gosh, that's gonna be hard. I have to sneak in his office. Okay. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? My Perhaps thoughts exactly. Professor Fig will know what to do. <coughs> I'm guessing I go talk to Fig now. Yep. I gotta go talk to Professor Fig. Ow, just wallop my head into the door. <laughs> I love this statue, my gosh. Okay, honestly. I think my partner loves that what statue as well. I will talk about this. Oh. <laughs> I, I think Eddie the girls upset his girlfriend. I also love how they um made every student on you like have have its own like dialogue I think that's what you call it like, yeah yeah dialogue <coughs> see they all just talk and it's pretty cool one of the greatest things about this game Oh, Peeves is annoying. She say I'm almost there. I believe I'm almost there anyway. <coughs> I think it's just up these stairs. Yep, 
here it is. I hope I look like <coughs> a fig. The keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Bloodgog and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And, in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the Headmaster's office. Incredible. All right. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The Headmaster's house elf will know it. I've actually met Scrope, but I'm not sure he'll tell me. He's rather devoted to the Black family. He is, so you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing, a Polyjuice Potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't Polyjuice Potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find okay. the Headmaster's <laughs> This is hilarious. I get to be the professor, the head professor, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, guys, I'm sorry. This is nuts. Professor, a moment of your time, Oh, please. no. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Mr. Sharp, <coughs> oh, places gosh. to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I... Did yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. <laughs> Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I will decide what's best. <laughs> I assure you, Sharp. You may speak <coughs> to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course. Yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> oh, my now, gosh. to determine which student gets this. Greetings. I mean, out of my way, children. <laughs> you with oh your my. mouth open? Where are your manners? What could the headmaster want? Oh, yeah, I'm talking to him. <coughs> Gareth. Uh, uh, Mr. Weasley, what are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor, yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, 
the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago, muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I hear you're getting quite good at those concoctions you brew. I say, why don't you bring a sample of your next batch to my office? I'd like to give it a try. What? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Sir. Thank you. On your way, Mr. Weasley. Oops. <laughs> well, there's one for my diary. This is turning out to be really funny. <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this. Professor Black. Oh, oh no. Mr. Gaunt. Where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I <laughs> I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. <laughs> ah, yes. Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a <laughs> medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Oh, no. Something is very wrong with Professor. <laughs> Professor, a word? Oh, no. <laughs> Professor Black, <laughs> again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they're fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports oh. Ministry about you. Uh, please do. Good idea. <laughs> I can even provide the parchment, should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. This is hilarious. Hmm. I, I can't. Why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. <laughs> Getting him into so much trouble. What did we do to deserve him as a head? You call that a shine on those boots? Do better. <coughs> Wait, where did the... Uh, am I gonna go? I think he's in the Great Hall, so I have to go up the stairs. I think. <coughs> yeah. I hope it's not about anything I've been doing. Miss mm. Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible. I mean, I've seen them about. I mean, yes, sir. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? <laughs> Something seems a little off with the headmaster. <laughs> it's funny. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I, uh, I... Professor, a word, please. Oh, come on! Oh, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? <laughs> Are you sure that's what Oh, right? gosh. I confess, I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Uh, I don't miss him. <laughs> I realize that, and I'd like to keep it that way. I see. <coughs> but, sir, if I may, 
I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. Well, you cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I am happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Oh, my goodness. <coughs> A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never... Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance as his house elf. There's Scrope! No oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh. But Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. How dare you question me? <laughs> I can't. I mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. I think it's this one. <coughs> it's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, uh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. <laughs> Oh, very well. Uh, toujours pure. Uh, there is another matter, Scrope. I confiscated this filthy diary from a student. It smells of squid and seawater. Oh, Apollonia's diary. Uh, <clears throat> that is quite a surprise, Master. What do you wish Scrope to do with this treasure? <coughs> uh, uh, rubbish. Whatever you wish, Scrope. It's your treasure. Now, off with you. Oh, please say. The polyjuice potion's wearing <coughs> off. Uh, <coughs> Attention, students. I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the stunning banners of Slytherin. <coughs> I shall be taking no questions at <coughs> this time. Or ever. Oh, yeah. <coughs> oh, my gosh. <coughs> I need to take a nice screenshot, guys. There you go. That angle. And then that angle. Good. Right, let's go. Wait, actually, let's get one by the door. I should just scratch his arm, but. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Made it just in time. It's wearing off. <coughs> Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now, to speak the password to the gargoyle. Oh, yeah. Oh. Confringo. Mm -hmm. Rebellion. Hmm? Wait, what's this? <coughs> I'm gonna lock this. Yay! Ah, never mind. Let's go. I can't, that was just too funny. I really want to do it again. 
But now I gotta access the headmaster's office. <coughs> All the way up, I'm guessing. I love all these photos as well. It's just amazing. Like, all of the different, like, people and... <coughs> it's like a lot of history on the walls. <coughs> I wonder if Professor Black is related to, um, Sirius Black. I think it's Sirius Black. I'm not sure. But, yeah. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Of course, it'd be at the very tippy top of the tower. <coughs> Gosh, this makes me wonder, like. How much Harry and all that walked all the way up these stairs just to talk to Dumbledore. Nuts. Like for real. <coughs> and my cat's on my desk. <laughs> Seriously, Nova? Is this the right way? Yeah, this is the right way. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the poem. <coughs> Toujours pure. Okay then. Revelia. And we'll take this. Thank you very much. And in the office we go. I, I guess. wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. I don't know. Oh. Thank you. Oh, it's the um <coughs> the wizarding hat. The floating hat, sorry. I can't think right now. It's <coughs> good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Sorry, I was taking a drink. <laughs> I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Oh, Has gosh. this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Revelio. Anything else? I gotta <coughs> pick up. I'm hearing things. I don't see you. Hmm. Let's just go. <coughs> that must be the pedestal. Uh oh. What did I just do? <coughs> What Where am I? the heck? Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. What in the... You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. What the... You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first in this place as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid <coughs> each of them at all costs.
this is scary. Oh my gosh, I can hear screaming. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I best <coughs> move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. Yeah, and I wish she wasn't. Oh. I need to time this just right. A staircase straight ahead. But I can't get past that dude. be able to find me if I go up there. Uh -oh. They're gone. <coughs> For now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Yeah, but how? <coughs> how am I supposed to? That's where I need to go. But I need to find a way past them. this way but more danger there must be another way to find you i need to turn back there's no getting past them that way that doorway looks like the only safe way forward my chance. <laughs> this is absolutely terrifying. If you're wondering why I'm so quiet, I'm trying to focus. That's the way forward. <laughs> oh, the invisibility cloak. <laughs> Harry Potter cloak. Me. I think I'm invisible. Oh, hell yes. Wait, don't tell me I have to go back. 
How am I supposed to? Do I have to go around? I'm so confused. <laughs> see me at all. Well, I can get closer to them. This is epic. <coughs> oh, oh, oh. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? Wait. Do I have to get those three um, object things? The cloak, the wand, and something? <laughs> Stone, you have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Oh, Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. I knew it. <coughs> I absolutely knew it. This is the elder one, isn't it? Here you go. Seriously, I just got these. Damn. <coughs> oh no.
seriously. I'll get there. I'll get there. <coughs> <coughs> I just, just got to try not to get hit, to be honest.
left me to do now. A simple stone. This must be for me. <coughs> the philosopher's stone. I know what this is. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. Um, okay. <coughs> Which way? What, that way? I can't believe she's... Oh, poor Neve. <laughs> Me. We won't be the same without oh. her. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. Oh, my cat's jumping. The magic anyway. of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Sorry, guys. Cat's jumping everywhere. <coughs> oh, my gosh. Guess I gotta follow her now? Oh, I do. Okay. But there is no light without shadow, as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Okay. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. 
Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. But as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw what I did for my father. Only have imagined the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Oh, wow. I don't even know I liked it. <coughs> I I don't know. I'm speechless. <laughs> I guess we return back. Professor Fig. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. You are so... Young. I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. Uh... Disturbing a little bit. I found it <coughs> disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. <coughs> it seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was, and she pulled emotions as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald. Without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in Goblin Silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Oop. That is bad. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to end this episode here, guys. If you liked it, please give us a good thumbs up. Um, a subscribe would also be greatly appreciated. I am almost at 2k, so let's get to that goal. Um, if you liked 
it's Hogwarts I Legacy. I um, so bitterly about your goblin friend. I Thank you for asking, can I talk? <laughs> I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece. Okay, thank you. Can I talk now? Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna pull it. <coughs> right, so I can talk. Okay, as I was saying, if you liked the Hogwarts Legacy content, please do put a comment below and I will continue to do more of this. If you're interested in me doing other stuff, then let me know below as well. So, other than that, guys, um, peace.